Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I have the perfect little holiday sweet treat for those of you who want to make something fun and festive but don't have a ton of time to be spending in the kitchen. So for this quick bite, I am sharing my clean and delicious dark chocolate coconut bark. Now the beauty of chocolate bark is that all it is is some dark chocolate with some nuts and whatever type of dried fruit you want to add in the mix. So there's no refined flours, no added sugar, and a little bit really goes a long way. So in my book, this is like the ideal clean and delicious holiday treat. So before I get started, I have a rimmed baking sheet lined with a Silpat mat. Now if you don't have a Silpat mat, you could also do parchment paper here, but I really love my slip pat mat, so if you guys are interested in checking one of those out, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below. So the next thing I've got here is eight ounces of dark chocolate. Now technically here, you can use any type of chocolate you love. I just happen to love dark chocolate and I'm a big fan, I think I've mentioned it before, of this 72% dark chocolate bar from Trader Joe's. And I usually keep one or two of these in the pantry. It's a, it's a pantry staple for me. And then if I'm making my dark chocolate chunk cookies or for a recipe like this, I've got the chocolate on hand ready to go. Now normally when I'm melting chocolate, I would set up a double boiler, but I wanna show you guys that you have options and it can be even easier than that because you can melt your chocolate in the microwave. So as long as you're okay with using the microwave, you wanna put your chocolate into a microwave um, proof bowl, I'm using a glass bowl, put it in there for one minute. Then you're gonna take it out, give it a stir, pop it back in for 20 to 30 seconds, take it out, give it a stir, and then evaluate. And you're just gonna keep going back and forth until the chocolate is melted. Now, if you're not super comfortable with your microwave, I would say check it more often rather than less often because you don't want to scorch the chocolate. So once the chocolate has melted and it looks nice and velvety just like this, I am going to stir in two ounces, which is a quarter cup of dry roasted and salted macadamia nuts that I gave a rough chop to. Gently stir that together, make sure all the nuts are coated in the dark chocolate, and then take this chocolatey nut mixture and pour it right onto the baking sheet that I have lined with the Silpat mat. Gently spread that around. You want it to be about a quarter inch thick, give or take, you know, a little bit. And the final step is our toppings. Now, like I said earlier, you can use any type of toppings you want, but I decided to go with some dried cranberries because cranberries always remind me of the holiday season and some shredded coconut because the coconut looks like snow. So I thought it was really fun and festive. Then from here, I'm just going to pop this in the fridge for at least two hours until it hardens and my chocolate has set up. And once it's done, it's going to look like this. Now, once it's set, you should be able to gently lift the whole thing up off the Silpat mat. And then I'm just going to break it into pieces. I like to do fairly big hunks. And then you can either put this onto a platter to serve to friends and family. You could gift it, put it in a little cellophane bag with a bow and share it that way. Or forget everybody else, treat it like a Head Start ingredient, put it in an airtight container and you'll have yourself a clean and delicious treat you can turn to whenever you want. But whatever it is you decide to do with your chocolate bark, do me a favor and snap a photo and then tag me on Instagram or on Facebook using the hashtag Danny Spees and or clean and delicious so I can see the amazingness your wonderful self is whipping up in your very own kitchen. Thank you so much, guys. If you want to print the recipe, make sure you head on over to cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you guys next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. What day? See it.